Hans brings from Coldwell Banker over in Waltham. The good news, Hans, is that inventory is starting to increase, especially in your market, right? It um, is. So that's a positive for the buyers, but there's still competitive offers out there. There are, Chris. We are still seeing multiple offers on properties all the time, uh, and properties are still selling you know, well over the list price. So for the buyer out there that's looking to be competitive, coming up against other offers, what should they be thinking about? Number one, ask the question. You know, Ask the broker, are there other offers that are going to be coming in on this property that I need to comp compete against? Um, if there are, you know, research the comparables, see what else is selling, but know that the past doesn't always apply anymore. Um, properties that sold two, three months ago or six months ago, those prices are old prices and prices have gone up potentially since then. M makes uh, sense. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and then from there, make a decision on what you actually want to offer on the property. If the property is asking 400 and you're considering an offer for 410, I always say ask the $1,000 question to yourself. And the $1,000 question is if you're considering offering 410,000 um, and someone else gets it for 411, are you going to be bothered by that or are you going to be happy that they got it? If you're happy they got it, great, you found yourself your sweet spot. Um, if you're not, if you would have paid 411, and pay 411 and keep going down the line until you figure out what that magic number is for yourself and stick with it. Sometimes it takes people to get burned, unfortunately, on their first deal, but I know that that hurts a lot of buyers out there when they realize that they just lost it. By $1,000. Yeah. You know, it, it, it can hurt. But again, as long as you feel comfortable with what you offered in the end, that's what I ask every buyer client of mine, everybody's happy. $1,000 question. That's it. <laughs> And if you'd like to work with Hans and ask the $1,000 question, you can connect with him and his team directly simply by going to his website at HansBrings.com. And remember, we have more tips right here on our page on Real Estate Talk Boston.